My name is Charmaine. My son's name is Peter. Um, he was 18 months old when he had his first seizure. He lost his sense of balance. Um, and I think that was what made him lose his confidence. And that's what stopped him doing things. He's a very, well, it's a boy, so very adventurous and always running around and trying to climb a tree or something. And he just didn't want to do anything. I had to pick him up all the time because he kept falling over. I don't know if it was a dizzy thing. You know, he was too young, so I couldn't ask him what was, you know, what his problem was. The medication was shocking. He just learned to talk and walk and everything, and he just completely stopped. He just became this blob. And they said, don't worry, it's the result of the medication, but he'll eventually get used to it. I think we kept that medication going for three weeks and he was like a baby. So I just said, we're stopping. We'll try another method of something. And that's when I started researching. Now, of course, Facebook wasn't even around in those days. So it was just Google and whatever. Nothing, nothing in South Africa. Absolutely. Up to today, South Africans are very closed and very scared to, to do anything alternative as long as there isn't a medical doctor behind there. So I didn't really have too much to go on, but I did pick up, even in those days, that diet was a big issue. It was a real pain <laughs> because like you said, it's very convenient not to, to have to just buy something, but living on a farm and being out of town, we weren't too, um, uh, what's the word, um, tempted just to quickly pop out and buy something because we were too far away. So you'd go out and literally buy the ingredients. So your house is full of ingredients and no cheat stuff. So it, it was fine. And the only time myself and my husband cheated was when we went out ourselves to town because we could do what we wanted <laughs> without the children. So, <laughs> so we, we could cheat on our own. So, yeah, it, but it was, it's a, it, it was a pain. You have to organize your life. You have to plan your day. You can't just quickly you know, make a sandwich because, you know, you've got limited stuff in the fridge and you haven't made anything yet, you know. I was just very concerned in the beginning because the ingredients that we buy here in South Africa are incredibly expensive. You know, almond flour is 12 times the price of normal cake flour. So, but you use a quarter of the quantity. So when you're buying the thing, you think, I'm going to make a mistake, start making food and it's going to be a big flop and what a waste of money. And it actually wasn't, but you know, it's a, you're going into the unknown and I'm really to use a quarter quantity of flour when you're making a loaf of bread, you think, how does that even work? Well, I mean, you know, you don't even notice it. Well, there are 10 times more eggs and you're using cheese and you're using other things that add to the volume. Um, so I was very hesitant to, to start with everything and very nervous. He got into high school and he was in grade 10, which is 16. And he was okay, but I did notice he'd have, he'd often, he'd, you know, sort of had relapses and not be well and have little seizures. Not too many great big seizures, but enough, enough for him to get pulled out of school for a day or so. Continued with school and he pl started playing rugby very good rugby player and all of a sudden just had these huge seizures so we he would continue with the rugby because the seizures didn't seem really to be looked linked to the rugby you know to the sport but eventually we decided to pull him out of the rugby and do a more gentle sport he started playing hockey then and um but the seizures just continued and got worse and worse and worse he finished school and he did well enough, he did well enough, but um, we couldn't send him to university or to anywhere where he wasn't in company 24 hours a day because at any stage he would just have a seizure. He now at the moment, um, this is now three years after starting the diet, he lives on his own, he's doing a plumbing apprenticeship. I think it, it frustrates him more now than anything else because um, living on his own, uh, he actually has to do the cooking himself.
and that to him is a pain. So he'd rather go, but he can, you know, you can buy things that he can eat. So he can go to a deli and buy the right food, um, not the pie and the sandwich because that's what he's not allowed. Um, so I think he's just more more frustrated than than sort of challenged, where previously it was a bit more challenge on my side to make sure he's getting the stuff right. 